welcome to today's unboxing with your Seca stationery video all about Sailor Hokuro dip pens. We've been seeing a lot of new dip pens from Pilot, from Sailor, um, a lot of glass dip pens all over the place these days and I think this is all related to the trend of like lots of ink swatching that's going on in the stationery community these days. So I kind of wanted to do an unboxing video on these Hokuro dip pens to see what is different about the Hokuro dip pens and what makes them sort of unique. They come in a few different nib sizes. There is fine, there's a 1.0 millimeter calligraphy stub nib, there's a two millimeter calligraphy stub nib, and then they have something called a fude nib, which has a bent nib. Another thing that makes these unique is that the nib is actually removable, so they're sort of uh, modular in that way, and you can just get one pen and then get additional nibs if you wanted to try out different things. And another thing that makes these <laughs> another thing that makes these dip pens unique is that the nibs are cappable. So I'll show you a little bit what that looks like. And then something that I'm really excited and um, makes these sailor pens unique is that they have a feed component. We will take a look at the dip pen feeds and what makes them different from a typical feed that you would find on a fountain pen. So without further ado, um, let's take a look. They are available in gray bodies that look like this, and this is the packaging. They're actually very small. They're also available in these white bodies here. These are the nibs that are sold separately if you just wanted to get a nib. And then this thing here is the specially designed feed for the Sailor Hokuro dip pens. They struck me the first time I saw them as really small, and obviously you're wondering where the nib is. So that brings me to my first point about why these pens are really, really cool. The nibs are actually uh, removable, as I was saying before, so you can remove them like this, but you can cap them. And so when they first come in the box, they're actually capped like this, and that this makes them very portable. So you can actually just slip this one into your pen case, and it's essentially a cap. So that is really cool, and very few dip pens actually have caps. And this one, um, it's not quite a cap, but it is capable. That's why I keep saying capable. Um, so you can invert the nib like that into the pen body. It snaps into place. I don't know if you heard. It snaps. Yeah. Um, and that makes it secure for traveling. It will keep your a uh, pen tip from damaging in your pen case. And the barrel of these is actually really good for traveling too because they're small and much shorter. It, it has this kind of interesting silhouette where it comes a little, it's, it's a little bit wider on this end over here and it widens out over here too. But where you would grip the pen, it is sort of fluted and there's a little bit of a curve which makes it really comfortable for gripping. And I keep saying that this pen is shorter, so just to show you for reference, this is the Sailor Hokuro dip pen. This is the Kakimori dip pen, which is much, much longer, you'll see. And this one is the Pilot dip pen. Neither of these comes with a cap, so Sailor's is really unique in that you are able to invert the nib like that, and it shortens it even more for travel. So I wanna point out that the fine and the 1.0 millimeter stub nib actually don't. They just come with the nibs, but these thicker nibs, the 2.0 stub nib, this one here, and this one, the Fude nib, they actually come with these removable feeds because they use up a lot more ink when you're gonna be writing with them. So if they didn't have these feeds built into them, um, or if they didn't come with these feeds, they would require a lot of constant dipping before being able to write anything. The thinner dip pens, the fine and the 1.0 calligraphy stub do not come with a feed, but the more calligraphic ones, the 2.0 millimeter and the Fude nib do come with a removable feed. And that's to really give you the 
option of not having to dip and re-dip your pen constantly for more and more ink. We'll start with this fine nib, um, just to give you a sense of what that looks like. I'm dipping into a Sailor Monyo Akebi ink, which happens to be a favorite of mine. So this is the Sailor Hokoro uh, Fine Nib. Okay. It's really fine, and I'm, I'm curious to see, actually, because this one doesn't have the feed, I'm curious to see how long we can get. Okay, so it's like right there is when it starts running out of ink, and it's out of ink now. I'm actually eager to pop in a nib feed, a feed, um, into this, and I'll show you how to insert it to see what a difference it makes. The way you want to insert, this is really cute actually, these Sailor Hokuto nibs, they come with a heart-shaped little breather hole on them. And the way you want to insert the feed, this is what the feed looks like. You want to insert into the back of the nib. The feed comes with a little protrusion that you can see right there. And you basically want to pop that protrusion into the heart-shaped breather hole from the back. So what we're gonna do is um, turn the feed over so that the protrusion is facing and lined up with the heart, the back of the heart. We wanna insert first from the base, like that. And then you wanna push it in until you hear a little click, like that. And not sure if you can see, but the little protrusion is now perfectly fit into the heart shaped. I'm really excited to test this out and actually see what a difference this feed makes. Sailor um, specially formulated this specific feed so that it doesn't come into full contact with the back metal part of the nib. And what that allows the feed to do is supply the nib with a good amount of ink to allow you to write a few words, a few sentences, I mean, we'll see. And further, you can still, because it's not coming into like perfect contact with the nib, it still allows you to simply clean this dip pen just by swishing around in some water. So we'll see, we'll see how well it works. I'm going to insert it into the same exact ink and try to be like as scientific about this as possible. Um, I drained off the excess and now I'm going to I'm going to try and write like the same exact thing and see what a difference it makes. Sailor Hokoro Fine Nib. <laughs> okay, okay, wow, I feel like I've been writing forever while well, at least drawing these squiggles. I can't really call what I'm doing writing, but the feed is actually giving us so much ink to the nib that I have written almost a full page of just like, well, uh, I have written, I have scribbled a full page of scribbles and I haven't had to ink again or dip again. So this is really a pretty dramatic difference that we see without the feed and with the feed, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm. I'm wondering if I'll keep going. Let me keep going and just see, let me keep going for a little bit and let's just see if it runs out soon. And if not, then we'll have to uh, cut it short. <laughs> we'll see, I don't wanna bore you all. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. I have, I have scribbled on for another half page, almost nearly another A5 page. And the feed is not seeming to look like it's running out of ink anytime soon. <laughs> so I am convinced that the feed does work. Um, now I'm going to just be dipping this pen into some water and seeing how well it, how easy this pen is to clean, even with the feed in there. It was really easy to clean uh, without any surprises. It was really easy to clean without the feed in there, but we're gonna see if it's really easy to clean even with the feed in there. Okay, 
I switched this nib around in, in the jar of water that I have on the side and I'm gonna see if I soak it in some paper or like wrap it around with some paper towel how much ink I see on the on the outside of the paper towel. Okay, usually this does a good job of drawing out ink. Okay, so that's actually really clean because if you know, if any of you know, um, if you've ever washed out a fountain pen, the feet of a fountain pen really does well of holding on to ink, but simply by swishing around in some water, it got most of the ink out, and this is the only little drop, like stain that I see. It's a very, very light color of the ink. It's really, it works really well. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the Sailor Hokuro dip pen and feed system. It is very cool that this pen comes apart you can pull the nib out and you can cap it by simply inverting the nib into the pen body as such you can get replacement pen nibs if you got a fine nib like the one that I tried out today and you wanted to try a food a nib or you wanted to give some calligraphy a try you could go for the uh, 1.0 millimeter calligraphy nib or the two millimeter calligraphy nib and the two millimeter and the fude come with those feeds. And then if you didn't get the feed, you can simply get just the feed to add on to your set. So I, I think it's really cool that you can take calligraphy step by step at your own pace with these with these dip pens. You can swatch inks out as well. I think the calligraphy nibs and the food day nib would also be really, really fun for that. And they'd probably do a great job of showing those inks as well. And I usually don't recommend people to really write with a dip pen, but I think that this might be the exception to the case because of the feed. The feed allows it to write quite a lot you can get like at, I would say at least an A5 page in with just a couple of dips um, I got a page and a half of very spaced out scribbling so it's probably less if you're using uh, if you're actually writing words it's going to be less also if you're using one of the calligraphy nibs which uh, use up a lot more ink than the fine nib that I was testing today still I'm super impressed with the Sailor Hokuro um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing I certainly enjoyed it and I think I learned a lot about this pen as well. Uh, let us know in the comments if you've been trying this pen, what you've been thinking, and are you also just mind blown about the, the feeds abilities on this pen? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye!